Fang safe from ticks on Long Island. Long Island is home to three different species of ticks, all of which may be carrying a variety of pathogens that can cause disease in pets and humans. In order to keep yourself and your family safe, it is important to know the risk factors for tick-borne diseases and to be aware of the different types of ticks present in our communities. Ticks can be active anytime the temperature is above freezing. The most dangerous times for tick-borne diseases on Long Island is April through October, although ticks can bite at any time throughout the year. In Long Island, ticks can transmit Lyme disease, babesiosis, ehrlichiosis, anaplasmosis, Borrelia miyamotoi, Rocky Mountain spotted fever, tularemia, and Powassan virus. Not all ticks are infected. They can pick up diseases if they feed on other animals that are infected. In general, ticks must be attached to your skin for 36 hours in order to transmit Lyme disease. However, other diseases such as Powassan virus can be transmitted in as little as 15 minutes of tick feeding. The best technique to estimate the amount of time a tick has been feeding on you is by doing a visual examination of the tick under a microscope. Long Island is the epicenter of tick-borne diseases, with over five diseases being commonly reported to the CDC. The maps below show the distribution of tick-borne diseases reported to the CDC in 2018. Each dot represents one case. Notice how many cases of Lyme disease and ehrlichiosis are reported on Long Island each year. Anaplasmosis and babesiosis are other tick-borne diseases commonly reported on Long Island. Cases of spotted fever, rickettsiosis, and tularemia have also been reported. Lyme disease is most common in the spring and summer months. The graph shown here displays reported cases of Lyme disease in the United States by month of disease onset from 2008 to 2018. June and July are, are by far the months with the most reported cases. However, lower levels of cases are reported all throughout the year. Lyme disease is slightly more common in males than in females and is most prevalent among young children and middle-aged adults. It is important to be aware of the different types of ticks present on Long Island, deer ticks, lone star ticks, and dog ticks. Each species has larval, nymph, and adult stages. They range in size from the grain, a grain of sand to a poppy seed to an apple seed, depending on the life stage and level of engorgement. This image shows an adult deer tick. Deer ticks are brown to black in color and have no white markings. Notice how the head is small relative to the size of the body. This tells us that the tick is fully engorged and has been feeding on the human host for some time. By contrast, this deer tick is in the nymph stage and is not engorged with any blood. The deer tick shown here is a nymph that is fully engorged. The next species of tick present on Long Island is the lone star tick. These ticks are named after the characteristic white spot present on the center of adult female ticks. This image shows an adult female lone star tick that is fully engorged. Conversely, the male lone star tick has varied white spots or streaks on its body. Lone star nymphs do not show the same spots or patterns as adults. This image shows a lone star nymph that is fully engorged and missing its mouth parts. The last species of tick present on Long Island is the American dog tick. Dog ticks are brown to reddish brown in color with gray silver markings on their backs behind the mouth. The adult female shown here is not engorged. By contrast, this female dog tick is fully engorged. The male dog tick has gray silver markings that extend throughout the whole body. In order to lower your risk of tick bites and tick-borne diseases, it is important to check for ticks daily during the warmer months, especially on children and pets. When checking your body for ticks, 
be sure to pay special attention to the areas around the hair, in the ears, under the arms, inside the belly button, around the waist, between the legs, and behind the knees. You can make your yard less appealing to ticks by mowing grass frequently and removing any stray brush or leaves. Other measures you can take to prevent tick bites are wearing long pants with socks pulled over the pant legs and a tucked in shirt. Wear insect repellent and shower as soon as possible after spending time in a tick danger area. The information and images used in this video are available thanks to the Regional Tick-Borne Diseases Resource Center at Stony Brook Southampton Hospital and the Lyme Lab at Stony Brook Hospital. For more information, please visit the Stony Brook Tick-Borne Diseases Clinic website or the Center for Diseases Control website.